All right, guys, we are drag racing sleds. We have a family affair here, father, daughter. What is your name, sir? Paul Kerr. Where are you from? Blythe, Ontario, Canada. Excellent, tell me who's here with you. This is my daughter, Kelsey. Hi, Kelsey. Hi. <laughs> my friend, Nicole. Excellent. Hello. And my friend, Kevin. Hey, Very cool. This are you? my daughter. Where are you guys from? We're from Paris, Ontario, Canada. Very cool, so a long trip down. Guys, we've been watching these sleds all weekend long, it's awesome. Tell me, tell me a little bit more about sled drag racing. What is it like, how did you get into it? I got into it because I got sick of the winters being short and we needed another use for these snowmobiles and it's a pile of fun. Okay, so you actually will use your sled in the snow and then yes. come, come summertime, it gets converted into a drag machine? Right, I have the license sticker and uh, the trail permit and everything is on this snowmobile. It can be turned back into gold riding on the trails as soon as the snow comes. That's pretty cool. I'm a multi-purpose guy. I rode my street bike here and I like to drag race it as well, so I'm with you on that one. How long does it take you to convert it over to snow form? About four hours, with Kevin's help. <laughs> yeah, I see that these things aren't the easiest machines to move around, are they? No, they're heavy, and but uh, they're good at going straight, they're just hard to turn. How That's would, why we drag race. I love it. How would you compare the thrill of being out there on the trails versus the thrill of being out here on the drag strip? I would say that the trails are rather boring. Really? <laughs> you get to go a lot faster here? A lot faster and it's controlled and you can, you can push the limit here. Excellent. How about racing in the United States compared to Canada? This is the nicest track I've ever been to. And it's not terribly far for you, right? Oh, about uh, five hours or so. Five hours. Oh, it yeah. is cool. Very, very cool. So I got to ask you, with the family affair here, will you be racing anytime soon? <laughs> Next year, that's the plan. Really? Yeah. Do you ride on the trails? Yeah. Okay, so what type of training do you think you'll need to get out here with Dad? Just a little just, test? Just, I don't know, talk about it. I've been crew chief, pit crew for the last um, 10 years, so I'm just learning the ropes and then I get on it myself. Very cool. And then you said you drag race sleds as well, right? We got a video of you at Dragway 42 at the Man Cup. Do you have the pink and black one? That's you me. Uh, I was looking for your name to tag you. What's your name? Nicole Elvin. Excellent. So you're, you're a tough bracket racer. You were beating a lot of tough racers at the Man Cup event. Yeah. What's your secret to being so consistent on this sled? Having a great coach. <laughs> so it all comes from the coach. Yeah. Yeah. Coach, what are you teaching her? Oh, we've been doing this since they've been at the racetrack since they're one month old. And they, she started off the junior dragster and grew up, and once she turned 16, she jumped on the sled. Very cool. So i got to ask you guys, why sleds instead of bikes? Well, we're big sled heads, and we snowmobile a lot in the winter, and it's just a natural progression. We had a debate on the website at one point. Guys were saying, is it unfair to race sleds and bikes? What do you think about that? Steven, Steven. We all make the same power. Very true, because there's limitations yeah. on the sled as well, right? Yeah, and we have Suzuki Motors, so we're kind of crossbreed, right? So. Awesome. Well, <laughs> guys, thanks for the interview. It'll be up on CycleDrag.com on YouTube and Facebook. Hope you guys had a great time. We did. Take care.